Hello, this is Lori Kasuba for AcrobatUsers.com. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss how to use Acrobat 10 Pro for the creation of software documentation graphics. We'll step through a process for creating, reviewing, and producing all the graphics used in software documentation. Now, typically software documentation is developed by more than one individual, a subject matter author, like a technical writer, and a graphic artist. The author will craft the text and draft of the associated graphics, while the graphic artist produces the final artwork. I'll explain how Acrobat 10 Pro can be used to facilitate the development of software documentation graphics between authors and a production team of graphic artists. This workflow example has been provided courtesy of the community help and support team at Adobe Systems. This team develops all the documentation and graphics for Adobe software that are published both online and in hard copy format. Now there are seven basic steps in this workflow. First, the author creates the screenshots and then converts the screenshots to PDF directly in Acrobat. Next, the author will combine all the captured images into a single PDF and add comments on the PDF pages with instructions on how to modify the graphics. The author then sends the PDF to a production team of graphic artists, and this team of graphic artists will use Photoshop or Illustrator to modify the graphics based on the author's notes. Then the production team returns the PDF to the author for review and approval, and then once fully approved, the production team will export each page as a PNG image to use in Adobe's online help documentation. Now let's start by reviewing how the authors create the screenshot graphics used in the product documentation. You can use the file Create PDF from Clipboard command in Acrobat 10 Pro to create a new PDF with a screenshot. If you have multiple screenshots that you want to combine into a single file, all in one step, you can use the Combine Files into PDF command directly from the Welcome screen. This will allow you to both capture the clipboard content and combine the screenshots into a single file, all in one step. For this demonstration, let's say I'm an Acrobat author documenting the Create New Action feature in Acrobat 10 Professional. So I'll bring up the Create New Action dialog underneath the Tools pane, Action Wizard panel, Create New Action. I'll press Shift Print Screen on Windows or Command Control Shift 3 on the Mac. You can also use Alt Print Screen to capture just the active dialog, but for this example, I'll copy the whole screen. This will load the screenshot onto the clipboard. And once the screenshot is loaded onto the clipboard, I'll bring up the Combine Files dialog, and I'll add a few screenshots directly from the clipboard into a single PDF. I'll take one more screenshot, documenting the dropdown, press Shift Print Screen, and add this to my file. When I'm done, I can drag and drop to rearrange the order of the screenshots if necessary. And when I press Combine Files, the screenshots are converted into a single PDF. And now I have a two-page PDF of my screenshots that a graphic artist will need to clean up. So I'll move on to step three of the process. In step three, I'll use the comment tools in Acrobat to let the graphic artist know that they need to crop all the graphics in this particular file. I'll use a sticky note located underneath the comment pane annotations panel to provide detailed information for the graphic artist. There are actually a whole host of markup tools that allow you to provide detailed commenting capability if necessary. In this particular workflow, I won't be using the shared review capability either because shared reviews will read or enable your file to allow commenting in the free reader. However, this also disables the ability to edit your PDF, which you'll see is necessary in the next step. Now in step four, I'll use the share pane on the right hand side to automatically send this file to the production team with just one click. If this particular file was large or contained video, I could instead choose to send it via Adobe SendNow services. SendNow is a cloud service that allows you to send, share, and track large files online without the headaches of email size restrictions, multiple email attachments, FTP sites, and costly overnight services. But in this particular case, since my file is small, I'm just going to send it via email. Now in step five, I'm going to change roles a bit and act as the graphic artist who has just received this file from the author. I'll see what changes need to be made from the author's sticky note. And it appears that I just need to crop the dialog boxes. To edit this graphic directly from Acrobat, I'll open up the content panel underneath the tools pane and select the edit object tool. I'll then select my graphic, right click and select edit image. This will load your graphic in your image editing application of choice. In this case, I'm using Photoshop CS5. And notice how a temporary copy of my file has been loaded into Photoshop. 
I'll make my changes here and crop the graphic. And when I exit the application and save my changes, they're reflected directly back into my PDF file. Now to make this happen seamlessly, you'll need to make sure the following preference is set under Edit Preferences or Control K on Windows or Command K on the Mac. Select the Touch Up category and make sure that you have an image editor selected. Now I'm going to return this file to the author using the Share Files capability again, but first I'm also going to reply to the author's comment to let them know that the changes have been made. To do this, I simply select the comment pane, select their comment, and reply. I'll let them know the images have been cropped. And notice how the sticky comment still appears in the file, even though the graphic has changed. Now this is because comments are actually layers in the PDF. And layers are also referred to as optional content groups, or OCGs. Now we'll go ahead and return this PDF to the author in one step again by using the Attach as Email command underneath the Share pane. In the final step, if all the graphics have been approved, I can complete this workflow by exporting all my graphics directly from Acrobat 10 Pro. To do this, I simply use the File, Save As Image command and select PNG Format, which is the graphic format used for the online help. This will export each graphic as a separate PNG file. You can also adjust the PNG setting upon export if necessary. Now my graphics are all complete. So through this video tutorial you can see how Acrobat 10 Professional helps facilitate the entire workflow used to produce software documentation graphics, from screenshot capture to final graphic format.